at Unmanned Life, we provide a software platform that enable, enables individual robots of different types and with different functionalities to work together as one autonomous workforce. And by doing so, we are enabling operational use cases for businesses so that they can leverage the power of robotics, but in an end-to-end -end solution in the factory with a seamless integration by using Unmanned Life Autonomous uh, Platform. But the key benefits of being part of the GSMA Foundry is that we are experts in the field of robotics. That's one thing, but to create that end-to-end -end solution and to leverage robotics is they are all mobile devices, so they all require mobile connectivity. And that's one of the aspects where we are not really experts in. We need to work together with partners in that ecosystem. Uh, what we do notice also is in that ecosystem that we speak different languages. You know, we are really well known and experts in the field of robotics, the programming languages over there, the technology sensors. But then in the wireless networks and that infrastructure part, we need to partner, collaborate with other partners that are speaking a telco language. So first of all, within the GSMA foundry, we notice that these, these ecosystems are being brought together. Yeah, you start to talk about each other's problems and, and, and bottlenecks and try to find solutions to collaborate on that. Uh, and I think that's really valuable within that ecosystem, uh, bringing these different views and viewing points and expertise to the table, the position of, of comfort zone, yeah, where you, you develop in-house, you develop your software, your platform, but you try to ignore all the complexities around it, of that integration with infrastructure, with wireless networks, but on the long term, you do need to leverage on top of them. So it doesn't add any value by avoiding it at the early stage. I think it's important for companies to recognize that, to look into that and collaborate, such as we do with the GSMA Foundry and the partners we are working with, such as Telefonica, and really test our systems in the field. And yes, things will fail and things will not work out from the first start, but that's why you're doing these processes. They might be painful at the beginning, but they are going to pay off in the long run. You want to be cloud and edge native. You want to be, be able to scale it in the future. And for that, it's very important to take actions now and to, to build it from the foundation correctly. For that, the GSMA Foundry is very important for us.